Greetings everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News and the Kremlin is claiming that the U.S. and Russia are on the brink of a direct clash in Ukraine. Let's have a look at some details. The Kremlin is urgently calling on Washington to avoid further escalation over its support to Ukraine's military on the same day that President Putin made a rare state visit to neighboring Belarus amid growing fears that Belarusian armed forces could enter the fighting in Ukraine. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said Monday that the United States' dangerous and short-sighted policy has put it on the brink of a direct clash with Moscow. It is the U.S.'s desire to maintain American hegemony at all costs, as well as its arrogant unwillingness to engage in a serious dialogue on security measures and security guarantees, I should say, that has led to the current crisis, uh, she went on to say. Now, to review what has gone on this month in this uh, situation, this NATO proxy war with uh, Russia being staged in the Ukraine, the White House has mauled the transfer of Patriot missiles to Ukraine, the Pentagon is expanding its on-the-ground program of small troop units seeking to monitor and account for U.S. arms transfers, Russia is increasingly coming up against U.S supplied high Mars missiles on the battlefield. The U.S. has sent an infantry company to Estonia. Calls have grown louder for NATO to close the skies over Ukraine. U.S. intelligence has been assisting Ukrainians with targeting Russian generals. The White House has indicated that believes Ukraine's forces are capable of retaking Crimea and the Ukraine has increased high-risk attacks inside Russian territory. Now, this uh, attempt to take Crimea, that could risk a nuclear response by Russia. Either way, my friends, it appears that this is almost, I would say almost, set in stone. It seems like this direct conflict is just moving full on, full course, and you would almost think that it is by design. Well, I do think it is by design. How far will this go? How devastating will this be? Will nuclear weapons get rolled out? So many questions we can't answer right now, but uh, it seems to fit the plan. This could certainly result in uh, a significant degree of population reduction, which is part of the WEFR's plans with Agenda 2030. Again, so many surmisals we could make here, so many things we could infer, but currently this is the situation to watch. And as always, please remember, the Word of God is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Press into Jesus, my friends. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.